हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जसनीत कौर एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशंस ऑफ माय नेक्स्ट अपलोड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड प्री ऑपरेशनल स्टेज ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव डिवेलपमेंट थियोरी बाय जेन पियाजे बट बिफोर गेटिंग इन द टॉपिक लेट्स क्विकली रिकेपचुलेट वॉट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो we have discussed in the first stage that children develop different mental activities and explore their immediate environment through their senses as well as physical capabilities which help the children to build awareness of themselves and of their surroundings the most important concept of stage was object permanence to know more about it do check out the link in the description box below or you can click on the top right corner of your screens now let's get started with second stage which is pre operational stage and this one is between 2 to 7 years now the question is why this stage is known as pre operational stage it is said so because it is the time when child develops basic concepts related with shape size space and time also at this age logical skills of the children is not fully developed hence it is called pre operational means before developing logical thinking talking about the changes which children come across at this stage first they start observing or noticing their immediate environment second start recognizing symbols like sign of plus which is related with hospitals red light signal means to stop and wait until it turns green their imagination power develops for example by the age of 3 to 4 or above they can easily create stories on things or situations they might have noticed from their surroundings their understanding of weight and object is yet to be developed hence what do what do they do they judge objects on the basis of its size rather than by their quantity unlike object permanence in the first stage egocentrism is important term along with others which we will understand in this video for that stay tuned till the end now let's discuss other cognitive abilities which occur at this stage starting with language development by the age between 2 to 7 years the language of the children grows rapidly their vocabulary sentence formation pronunciation becomes clearer as they grow they start giving answers of sh short questions easily and logically but also they start expressing themselves pretty nicely like when they are hungry or want to go to pee they can tell to their immediate caregivers easily their sentence formation develops as they grow by the age of 4 years or more with the help of sentences they can easily tell stories now listen to this 4 year old kid who is telling a short story to his mama observe his speech and in the continuation of the same clip there is a 6 year old boy who is reading a story book you will see a minute yet important change in their sentence formation baat hai ye baat ki baat hai haath ko sone ke liye bahut sun jaane ke liye aata hai achanak se bahut sai sai ki awaaz aa rahi hai fir papa bhai story the grafello A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw a mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are 
are you going to little brown mouse come and have lunch in my underground house it's day so after watching both the clips you must have noticed with increase in age the language development along with other cognitive skills like reading and understanding content also develops moving on to next cognitive ability that is pretend play at initial age between 2 to 3 years toddlers often pretend to be people they are not example parents superheroes policemen teacher doctor etc initially children prefer to play on their own they are less likely to engage with others hence their world is revolve around themselves you must have seen children playing games like doctor doctor teacher teacher on their own but at later stage between 4 to 7 they can get involved with others as well as egocentrism declines children begin to enjoy the participation of other children in their games and let's pretend play becomes more important pretend play is important because through this elders can understand what kind of environment their children are exposed to because while pretend playing they do activities which they have experienced or observed in their surroundings to understand this concept better watch this following clip you know sumit yahi parents finally apne bachcho ko public spaces par marte hain and violence is not the answer yeah i think hum kafi serious conversation mein ja rahe hain absolutely would you, like, would you like something to drink papa i am getting uh, married <laughs> सब क्या है नया अरमान नया शादी कर रहे हैं अंदर जाके खेलो पापा देखो हम शादी कर रहे हैं अरे बाबा तुम्हारी शादी हो जाएगी अब याद आते अंदर जाकर खेलो नो नो अभी यू लाइक मी यस यू लाइक मी हां हां ओ माय गॉड और शादी के बाद क्या करोगे मैं पापा जैसे सुबह उठूंगा और रेडी होऊंगा Hmm. और फिर मना मुझे बैग देगी और मैं ऑफिस जाऊंगा ऑफिस <laughs> में बहुत सारा पेपर साइन करूंगा और बहुत पैसा मिलेगा सो क्यूट मैन एंड देन फिर मैं घर आऊंगा अच्छा और फिर मानिया क्या करेगी बहुत कुछ और घर आके तुम क्या करोगे फिर मैं उसे मारूंगा दरवाजा बंद करूंगा और सो जाऊंगा नो नो सोने से पहले मैं खाना लाऊंगी और आप शो करके प्लेट फेंक देंगे ओके सो इन द क्लिप एज यू सॉ वाइल्ड प्रिटेंड प्लेइंग चिल्ड्रन कॉपीड द बिहेवियर ऑफ देयर पेरेंट्स आई होप स्टूडेंट्स सो फार कांसेप्ट्स आर क्लियर टू यू ऑल डोंट फॉरगेट टू गिव योर फीडबैक इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो All right now let's move to next cognitive ability that is deferred imitation it is a sequence in which child first perceives something that someone else does and then performs the same action a few hours or even days later in simple words it is the ability to remember and copy the behavior of others in their absence Deferred imitation can be seen in many ways like facial movement vocal imitation body movements and in actions as well I hope students you are aware of the meaning of imitation imitation is copying Next one is conservation The principle of conservation states that two equal quantities remain equal even though the form or appearance is rearranged let's look at the example 
a four year old child is unable to conserve gets upset when a mother cuts the carrot into smaller pieces because the child thinks they have to eat more let's take a look on the other examples child believes liquid is equal when it is poured in same size of jar but when same amount of liquid of one jar is transferred to a funnel she believes the funnel one has more quantity similarly if you give toddlers an option between 1 kg of iron and cotton and ask which one is heavier they might end up saying iron is heavier whereas both weigh equally the different types where conservation can be seen is volume numbers matter length area and weight the next cognitive ability is seriation it is the ability to sort out objects or situations according to their characteristics or any characteristics like size color shape or type example putting numbers in orders from lowest to highest or putting objects from smallest to biggest next one is transductive or transduction reasoning in this children often link two events that occur closely example hearing whistle of night watchman and relating it with night time or sleeping time or they associate cake with birthdays or watching parents getting ready means going out somewhere moving on to next egocentrism it is one of the most important concept of pre operational stage in this child sees world from his own viewpoint children find it difficult to view world from others perspective instead child believes that everyone sees things and feels just as they do example 7 year old komal's birthday coming up so her mom takes 3 year old rohan to the toy store to choose a present for his sister he selects a spider man action figure for her thinking that if he likes the toy his sister will too psychologist doesn't consider egocentrism as selfishness it is just that child lacks the ability to understand others viewpoint the other example of egocentrism could be when child goes to amusement park he is terrified to see clowns because they are unable to understand that there is a person behind those clothes with passing years children themselves get over with this fear moving on to the last cognitive ability that is animism it is a belief that non living things has a life such as toys toddlers believe non living things have emotions feelings intentions just like humans that is why while playing with stuffed toys they talk make them ready or do other humanly stuff because they consider them alive also pretend to feed them whenever they themselves eat food or drink milk all right so that's all for today students if you have any other or better examples related to any of the discussed cognitive abilities then do let me know in the comment section below I hope this video must be clear to you all still if you come across any query feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below I'll get back to you with next two stages as soon as possible till then if you have watched this video till here then please don't forget to press on the like icon and subscribe to my channel and do give your feedback about this video in the comment section below as your feedback really helps me to boost my morale 
Hope to see you soon. Till then, bye-bye and stay blessed.